Hey, I'm Pastor Melissa. I am the pastor of community at First United Methodist Church of Cleburne. It is hard to believe that we have now crossed the halfway point in Lent. And so you probably find yourself in one of these camps right now. You are either really struggling to try and make these practices habit to come back to these yeses, and you're here just desperately hoping that this week it'll stick. Or you find yourself in a space where this has felt easy, where you are easing into the rhythms of Lent. Wherever you find yourself this week, if it's somewhere in between or in one of these camps, you are welcome here. Thanks for being here, and there is always grace enough for us all. This week, we're going to be practicing reading the Bible between the lines. Now, this isn't a practice where we read the Bible until the Bible says what we wanted to say. Rather, this is a practice where we dive in off into the deep end and we allow God to come alive in scriptures in new ways. This is an ancient practice. It's a tradition that's been handed to us from our Jewish brothers and sisters, and it's called Midrash. And so the practice that we're doing, whether we call it Midrash or reading the Bible between the lines, is a practice of turning scripture over and over again. It's choosing to say yes to savoring each word of scripture and continuing the conversation of scripture, even when it's ended. In fact, you probably have practiced Midrash at some point, whether you did it knowing fancy terms or not. If you have ever asked a question about scripture that you have read, you've practiced midrash. If you have ever wondered about what happened after the story ended and then you continued the conversation with a friend or family member, you have engaged in reading the Bible between the lines. And so this week, as we say yes together to reading the Bible between the lines, I wanted to offer you a few pro tips, just some tips to walk along with you that might be helpful as you go this week. So here we go. Number one, read any Bible passages out loud. I promise you, you are going to hear them and receive them differently when you read them out loud. And who's going to think you're crazy? Your cat? It's fine. Number two, ask questions. Ask any question that rises to the surface within you. Don't judge any question. No question is silly. No question is too unimportant. No question has already been asked and therefore you don't need to ask it. Ask any question that comes to the surface. And most often it's the questions that we judge the most harshest within ourselves, that is exactly where God is hoping to meet with us. So ask questions and take it a step further. Tip number three, grab a journal. Whether you're proficient at journaling or not, keep some paper or a pad near you to jot down ideas, to jot down the questions that rise up, to jot down the conversations you want to keep having. And you'll be surprised at how you might find God show up just in what you write down in a few simple lines. Number four, get curious. Allow your imagination to run wild with you. Allow yourself to read, not knowing what the next thing is going to say, but rather reading the scripture as if it's the first time. Be surprised by every twist, by every plot turn, by every character that enters the story. Allow yourself to be curious. And finally, protect the mystery of God. What I mean by this is, is when we practice reading the Bible between the lines, we are opening ourselves to the mystery of God. We're saying that we don't know everything that scripture has to say, but God does. And so we start with ourselves as the smallest point and we allow ourselves to open to the grandeur of God. And as our questions get bigger and deeper, as God meets with us and our curiosity and imagination, we'll find that God delights in the work that we do when we choose to seek after God by saying yes 
to reading the Bible between the lines. So will you say yes with me to practicing Midrash or reading the Bible between the lines this week? And as you go, would you receive this blessing to go with you? May God, the creator, spark within you imagination. May the living Christ meet you in the white spaces between alphabet inked on page. And may the Holy Spirit both confound your knowing and stoke a fire of powerful questions within you so that you might encounter God alive this week in scripture. May you go in peace.